Yo, once again it's on. We back one more time. We in your house like uh kitchen sinks, you know what I mean? Feel free to like the video, comment, subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed and hit that post notification bell, man. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to get this uh, channel off the ground, man. So I need your help. Hit that post notification. So anytime I drop this heat, you know it's coming. Pause. Man, I want to talk about prison, man, and, and, and one of the worst things about prison, if not the worst, is the strip searches. And a situation that uh that I encountered with the strip search, you know what I mean? Prison is has a way of humiliating you. You know, the strip searches, it's not just like, okay, pull your shirt up, drop your pants, turn around. No. No. Now, with certain COs, they'll let you get away with that. Because a lot of the COs, man, they don't want to see another man naked. And that's how I would be if I was ever a CO. First of all, I would never be a CO. But by chance, let's just say I was bad guy. <laughs> man, I'm not going through all that, man. I'm going to probably just take you in the room. Here, man, just sit here for, you know, 60 seconds and then go on out. As though I strip searched you. But a lot of those COs, man, I think they have hidden agendas, man. Because they all claim, well, I'm just doing my job, man. I got to do my job. Man, them people don't know if you do your job or not. You you in a uh, secluded room, man. Ain't no, ain't no cameras in there. So I'm saying a lot of them guys, man, they really want to see, uh, you know, they, they, they really want to see naked guys, in my opinion. You know, take all your clothes off and stand there while they go through every article of your clothing. Raise your arms up. Open your mouth. Lift your sack. Lift your sack higher. Turn around. Spread your cheeks. You know, squat. Spread your cheeks again. Cough. Three times. Come on, man. But you just doing your job. Nah, it's deeper than that. And you have to, and, and the thing about strip searches is, you have to get strip searched like really at random anytime they feel the need to strip search you they can strip search you situation man i was uh i was on visit contact visits you know i'm in prison so most prisons that i know of you have contact visits i'm coming in from visit or whatever so it's crazy because you're already trying to you, like you may have two to three guards where i was at anyway that that you know, they're handling the strip searches. So you're trying to align yourself and time yourself so that you can get with the, the cool guard that's not going to take you through all the, you know, take your socks off, take your boxes off, you know, do 10 jumping jacks, man. You know what I'm saying? All that old funny ass shit. So in this particular case, man, I never will forget. It was two officers. You got one officer who's a straight jerk. I'm talking about everybody wants to avoid him, but people will go ahead and go just to get back. Okay, here, here, I already know what it is. Let me go on and get this strip search done and over with so I can get on back to the to the dorm, to the unit. So it was him, and it was another dude, and it was a, 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 a gay dude. He was a gay CO. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with gay people. Nothing wrong with being a gay CO, but that's just what it was. Now, it was the first time that he ever worked visits. The first time I ever seen him in visit. First time I ever heard him work in visit. He was real cool, though. He was real cool. I think he was like a sergeant. Again, maybe just became a sergeant, man. Didn't bother nobody, man. One of the coolest COs that I've ever ran across, man. Didn't bother nobody. So, we in the line. I ended up getting... At the time, I felt like I ended up getting stuck with him. So I'm like, oh, hell no, nah, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no problem with nobody gay. I got gay people in my family. I got gay friends. I don't got no problem with, with anybody that's gay. But I really don't want to get strip searched right right here, man. And you telling me to lift my sack and, and, and turn around and, 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 and cough and spread my cheeks. And you know what I mean? I... That wasn't really up. 
I wasn't really feeling that. You dig? So, this is why you don't judge a book by its cover. So, I'm like, damn, man. I'm already in my mind. I'm like, I'm thinking about saying, hey, can I get a, a, a different CO to come down here and, and, and strip me out? But I didn't do it. I, ain't, I didn't want to be rude. You know, I was just like, all right, man, here, let's just get it over with. Because you call and ask for another CO, man, it might take, you're going to hold things up for 20, 30 minutes, maybe longer, if they even come. So I'm like, damn, man, this is crazy. So I go in the room. The dude is like, because uh, like right when you go in the room, that's when you start to automatically, you know, you hand them your jacket. You know, if it's wintertime or something like that and you got a jacket, you hand them your jacket. So I hand him my jacket. He starts to go through my jacket or whatever. Give him my toboggan. He goes through the toboggan. So I give him my shirt, but I got a t-shirt on underneath the shirt. So I give him my, my state shirt, you know what I'm saying? Because we have state uniforms. So I give him the shirt. And, uh, you know, he goes through the shirt. Nothing, nothing major, though. So then he gives me my shirt back. I give him my pants, but I still got my shorts on underneath my, my pants. Goes through my pants real briefly. He was like, all right, you're done. And I, in my mind, I was like, seriously? I'm like, yeah, you're done. No need to go any further. And I feel like such an idiot, man, because in my mind, I didn't necessarily prejudge the man. I mean, the man is gay. He'd tell you he's gay. But I just automatically thought that he was going to search me like the majority of the other officers. Because that's how they, they typically search you. You know what I mean? The majority of the officers, man, they make you get naked. They make you get naked up in that piece. So... I judged him not even really knowing how cool this dude really, really was. Yeah, I knew he was cool, but I didn't know as far as on the strip search tip. So, you know, you never judge a book by its cover. That was a crazy story. Um, it's funny when I think back on it now because I was just like, oh, my God. Uh, I'm really going to get strip searched right here, man. And, and But it just lets me know, man. A lot of them, a lot of them COs, man, they, they, uh, they funny bunnies, man. They funny bunnies. What type of man tells another man to, to raise your sack up, to turn around and spread your cheeks and a uh, squat and takes a flashlight and he's looking all up in your action? What are you going to find? You ain't going to find nothing. If a person does have something, you're not going to find it that way. But nah, you want a sneak peek. All these COs is on the DL, man. And they get their rocks off, man, by looking at uh, <laughs> inmates doing uh, strip searches. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Stay out of prison, man, because it's, it's foolery. It's humiliating. It's just downright degrading. But it's reality, and it happens. It definitely happens, man. Real Kings TV, man. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Comment, share, subscribe, and post notification. You know what I mean? Let's get this channel off the ground, man. I need y'all to help me get the channel off the ground. You know what I mean? When I drop videos. If you don't know that I dropped the video, how you gonna watch the video? You might just stumble upon it, but I mean, it's millions, hundreds of millions of people on YouTube, man. See what I'm saying? That post notification, man. It takes, what, two seconds? Anytime I drop his action, it's coming right at you. Pause, though. Double pause. Real Kens TV, man. Don't judge a book by its cover.